So I was getting ready to get some coal in the house because we have a coal furnace. And I just got dropped with a whole anxiety attack. It's the first one I've had in a minute. I'm waiting for my 0.5 milligram quad pin to kick in for sure. And that's why it's good to definitely acknowledge the spiritual battle from a medical standpoint too. Yeah, sure, I went running right back to therapy. Kitty, I went running right back to the option to have some kind of medication sometimes to take the edge off of what it really feels like. I've just taken the last couple of weeks and shut up and just let it all sink in around Christmas. And it's not easy to look at. But, um, if you just hold everything up side by side, it just looks like everything that everybody thinks they know, they don't know. And if you hold up the Bible next to these ancient Sumerian things and look at this guy, Jordan Maxwell, who says a lot of shit that makes sense. I mean, I went through some really weird shit, and I didn't react all that great eventually, but um, I think everybody that knows me knows that I would never just implode my life like this for no reason, and when you look at how the uh, world actually works, and you look up indigos, and you look up empaths, and you look up dark empaths and you look at the Johnny Depp trial and you look at everything that's going on and when you decide that you love your kids more than anything no matter what the fucking truth is and your kids are stuck in this world if we don't figure out what's going on that's what I've been thinking the whole time I'm trying to fucking get out of my head and that's all they're talking about is the mental health bombing on the news all they're talking about is all this bad shit you can't stop staring at you don't know why it's happening it's because of the whole spiritual battle and these people sorry but like these people that are saying that god is us and we need to look at these gods and goddesses and ancient egypt and toth my kitty you're not allowed up there it's just sickening. It's really sickening. It's uh, it's really hard to look at. So I'm just warning you that it, it, it looks scary. And this is just what it looks like sometimes. If you're going to have a fucking breakdown, just call me, go lay down. Just go lay down. Because there's some discrepancies about Jesus Christ here and it's our kids asses on the line and what they're gonna have to grow up and believe or not believe no no I definitely just can't let my kids be predisposed to these crazy mental disorders but oh these crazy mental disorders look like steps to the spiritual awakening and if my life has to explode like this that's fine because if you don't understand what these people are saying, they're saying all of the things that are missing that make sense. And they have such, these spiritual people are geniuses. <sighs> Super smart. People have degrees and you just don't even know how smart these people are. Like, don't even need degrees. You would be so mad that you spent all that time and money getting a degree and they didn't teach you any of this shit. And it's really hard to look at, so.
yeah, that's why I haven't made any videos or anything, because I just kind of haven't really given a shit. Just letting it all sink in. So, definitely a recommend kind of thing. Like, once you think about it, what you think about what the hell's going on with these aliens and gods and goddesses and Anunnaki and all of these things and Elo High versus Elohim is mind blowing. And then when you consider it, it's like, okay, okay, that's how that's what could happen or that's what could be happening. Okay, everything should probably be fine then. But glad to know that if something crazy happened I would handle it better I feel like I had my couple of breakdowns on the way to a spiritual awakening that's been strange and I can't wait to have somebody talk to my oversoul can't wait everybody who's bipolar or schizophrenic or has anything going on right now like jump straight to you have an oversoul and maybe you should look into that and there's people out here that can, like, talk to your higher self, your higher power, your whole inner God thing that you don't understand. And if this is why everybody's being called crazy, well, I just want to talk about it. <laughs>